hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't fail to hit the like button the subscribe button and share my video if you're new to my channel please always come back and watch again uh, in this video i'm going to show you how i made that sleeve which i'm going to add to my gun which i'm making on the other video yeah i took my time to explain how to make the sleeve with the guard at the bottom so please keep on watching and this are the um measurement i'm going to be using the cap height is six and a half the cap height to the elbow is 10 points um 10 point half that is 10 plus half and uh which is 10.5 originally the sleeve length is 15.1 15 inches plus one inch or so in allowance for the 16 inches then the gathered will be so because it got because the gather go to start from the elbow you can see that i took 10.5 minus 16 inches what i had was 5.5 then the 5.5 plus one inches but i need that one is at the bottom of the gather which i'm going to put my elastic so what i have is 6.5 then the rand is the bicep 15 at my sleeve and the elbow 13 at my sleeve so all these measurements are very important when i'm going to start creating this sleeve so please keep on washing so what i'm going to use is my pattern paper i've already drafted my pattern paper for my sleeve i did a video on how to draft at your sleeve i did a video on how to calculate the point on your on your cap height how to determine the curve so please have a look at that video and then you'll be able to understand how I came about the curve here yeah? and also how I came about uh, the sleeve. If you go have a look at my video, I took my time to explain that. So now I have two cuts in here. Yeah? This is the um, this one, this is the sleeve. This sleeve is for the two uh, hand sleeves for my gun. So I'm going to start working on the front. On one of the sleeve i keep this aside so i've already cut out my fabric so this material you can see this is the right side of my fabric and this is the wrong side of the fabric so what i'm going to do here is to now place it in like so now i'm going to pin it up When I finish pin, I'll come back and show you the next step. You can see, friends, I've cut out the first leaf. So, the next leaf, I'm just going to place this aside gently, then place it up like this. Arrange it. Then simply take this, place it on top here like so. Then follow the shape here and cut to this place. As you can see, friends, I've succeeded in cutting out the two pieces for my sleeve. So what I'm going to do now is to take one inch, to mark out one inch on both sides, like so. I'm going to take my marker here. So I'm making sure both sides are equal. So I'll follow the shape. Of this and take out one inch follow the shape one inch follow the shape again one inch follow the shape again like so take out one one inch and this side as well take out one inch you see just follow the shape to take out one inch so what I do here I'll do it on this side as well 
then I'll take it to the sewing machine after I do that then I'll stitch from the blue line here like so I'll also do the same thing on this side now my friends now that I've sewed the, the sleeve the next step is to now create the gather remember on the gathered yeah what I have here on the gathered here remember the sleeve from my cap height to my elbow was 10 inches yeah see from my cap height was 10 inches yeah so I had it uh, one inch for my sewing allowance right so the next thing I'm going to create now is my gathered so I'm going to create my gathered from here right my my gathered is how to create a gather is this you see here like this what I have my from here to the where the blue mark blue mark end is eight so I'm going to if you have eight like this and this eight is sixteen inches you see that so I'm going to make a uh, sixteen inches to plus another sixteen inches that will make it uh, I think thirty two thirty two inches thirty two inches let me see what I have here thirty two inches yeah so that's the two inches that what I need to create a gather but don't forget that we also need one inch to tidy up the gather as well I need one inch on the side here to tidy up the gather unless I need uh, yeah one inch because I'm going to join it like this remember I'm going to join it first like this after I do that so we need one inch on this side and one inch on this side to join it up so all together what i need is two inches so if i take two inches here like so so let me see how many inches many many six inches so i'm just going to add the six inches to it to create like puffy type of gather you know so so i cut out the same length and shape on this so on this side like so you see from here is 10 inches remember what i did is 6.5 inches right so i need one inch here to hold the gather to the sleeve here to hold the gather to the sleeve i also need one and a half inches here to to fold my gathered here like so yeah i'll need that as well so when i have when i take when i take one inch here like so let's mark it out I take one inch and down here i take one and a half inch so let me see how many is going to remain for my gathered so what I'm going to have is eight inches. So because I don't want too much uh, puffiness, I might decide to leave it like that to make it more puffy. So what I will not have is eight inches. Then my gather will be more puffy then. So just keep on washing. So friends, this is one and a half inch. What I'm going to do here is I'll stick here like this. I'll take to my sewing machine and stitch all through to the end this is the bottom part of the gather i'm going to do that to the machine washing machine sorry to my sewing machine to stitch it friends as you can see i've stitched the bottom from here straight down so what i did was i left an opening here this opening here this is where i'm going to put my elastic to create the gather so before i do that right friends I'm going to come here like this. You see, I left one inch here. 
this is just how the fabric I'm going to do it like this I'm going to stitch it up right when I finish stitching up I'll come back and show you the next step friends as you can see I've stitched the both sides together right so what I'm going to do next is not to put in my elastic so at the end of where my god I want to stop it's gonna be uh, after my elbow so I'm going this is my elastic right so I'm going to measure my elastic like this so so yeah my elastic is there so I'm gonna cut it off from there I think I need a video on how to add elastic, create a gathered on your sleeve. So have a look at that video where I took my time to explain how to add elastic to your gathered. Sorry, but I'm looking for my my pin. So my friends, this is my pin. I'm just going to the reason why I did it like that because I'm going to tie it. When I put my last into my lace, I'm going to tie it like this. You see, that's why I cut it like that. So I'm just going to add my paint to it, like so. <coughs> then, yeah, it's my opening. Remember, I left it open there. So it's my opening. So this one, this one will go inside like this, and this other pin will go in like this, and the other side of the, the other side of the opening, I use the pin to hold it like so. See that? So now, you see now. And I start putting this one inside like so. I start pushing it. Up is big enough. I push again. You see? So now I'm not putting my elastic inside. You see? So I push again. So when I finish doing that, I'll come back and show you the next step. So my friends. I've put the elastic and I tied it up so the elastic is now inside. You can see the elastic here inside. So now the next step I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch this place. I'll just take when you're doing that, be careful when you're doing this how you will stitch the elastic. Make sure you push the elastic in and stitch only the fabric against the other fabric. You see, don't stitch the elastic to, to, with the fabric. So I'm going to do that now. This is for sewing machine and stitch it. So, friends, as you can see, I've tidied up the gather. So the next step is to now add this gather to this one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my needle. I'll thread it up. So my friends, as you can see, this is the, um, the blue line. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start my doing my gather, yeah? So I'm going to start my gather from this top here. I have my, 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 what's it called? My needle. So start my gather now. Top there like so. See the way I'm doing it. So when I finish doing, I'm gonna do it like that all through. The reason I, why I use this colored, uh, color uh, thread, so I can be able to know where. My thread is when I want to take it off. If I use white, 
I will find it difficult to find it properly. Find my thread in the fabric. Mind you, this is my picking up my gather here. You see that? So I'm gonna do all that round till I come to the other end of this side. So friends, as you can see that I've done the gather now, right? This is the this is the right side of the fabric. Yeah. No, sorry, this is the wrong side of the fabric. So this is the this sleeve here. I'm going to mark at half an inch. Let me keep this aside. I'm going to mark a half an inch. When I finish marking it, I'll come back and show you the next step. My friends, as you can see, I've marked out by half an inch here, yeah, like so. Mark at half an inch. And here yeah, as well, I've also marked out my sewing allowance at the top. So what I'm going to do, this is the right side of my fabric, right? And this is my gather. You can see it like this. So what I'm going to do here is this. This is the wrong side of my fabric. And inside here is my right side of my fabric. So I'll put it here. And before I put it, let me quickly tell you something before I forget. You see this place here? <coughs> Where I had the, the thing together, this one. This place here. I'm going to put it here as well. You see, so they can be together. So, what I'm going to do is like this, yeah. Making sure. Coming, yeah. Making sure this side, is, this side is facing this side, yeah. So now I'll shrink it again, yeah. So I'll put it inside. Put my hands in. I put it inside like so. take my my gather rope see what I did now so after doing that I'll turn my gather inside like so then I'll play come like this you see there the whole plate there like so right and this one as well I'll open it like this This one as well is open, yeah. Open like this. Now take my pin and pin it. Now let me let me pin from outside because I saw it from outside. You see that I'll pin it like so. So when I'm pinning, I make sure this one, the top, both sides, all the sides are equal. So now that it's inside, so I'll put it inside like so. Then I'll start gathering it. I start dividing the gather to be the same length with my sleeve. I space it out. You see that? Space it out. I come in like this. I space it out. Put my eye on the side. So now I'll start pinning it up. But mind you, when you are pinning it up, right, friends? When you are pinning it up, make sure that the sleeve here is straight, it's no gathered. So, I'll, so now I'll start doing it like so. You see my pin? I'll take my pin and pin it up like so. On my half an inch. So I'll move it again. Fill it up like so as well. So I'm going to do the same way round. You see my gather there is equal to the sleeve round. You see that? So I just pin it all round. See that so now I'll start pinning. I'll pin it on the half an inch which I did on my sleeve. I'm going to pin it round till, till I get to this spot here. Friends, 
I've placed the pin around my gather on my sleeve. So the next step is to now start the stitching. So I'm going to put this like this. <coughs> I'm going to gently squeeze it in. And then bring it closer to me. <laughs> closer, closer to me. That's it. You know, we sewing, you have to, you don't need to rush when you're doing your sewing. I'm telling you, friends. So you'll make any mistake, especially if you are a beginner. Bless it. On that half an inch, which I mark out on my sleeve, which is very important, you place it on that one. And I'll start taking out my pin slowly, slowly. Like I said, I'm not rushing, so I'll start sewing on the half an inch I marked. So slowly, slowly, I start sewing, making sure I press down my fabric and take the spin out. Then I start stitching all over. Remember, it's a gathered sleeve, so I'm a bit careful here. Yeah, start stitching. Start stitching. Start stitching. Cut my pain slowly. Start stitching. station Stitching slowly, slowly. I'm still stitching, my friends. So, when I finish doing the stitching, I'll come back and show you the next step. So, friends, we finish stitching it. So, now I'm going to turn it over. is ready so this is the gathered so now if you want to know how to take this off remember is a just take your your scissors and start cutting it out cut that the only the red thread only to help to pull it out you see So just keep on cutting. See that? So now I can pull it out. Mm -hmm. 
so now as you can see it I can pull it out now so now let me then my sleeve is now ready so the color sleeve is now ready so if you see it like this you see the buff it's not there you can bring it down you can see the buff sleeve so my friends we've come to the end of the tutorial if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and share my video so for now one love one peace and bye for now bye for now